What's happening, guys? I'm turning this around so you can see my face. Yes. So, let's talk about, and this is going enhanced reality. Some of you think that I should post links. I say it. I say the links in the description. If you miss it, you miss it. So, I can't, uh, you know, they don't want to see the Russell Crown and play his performance and all that stuff. They just won't see it. So, I got me a big mega pint. A mega pint of, it's not beer, but just something to sip on. Kind of tastes like a mix between wine and beer. So, I want to talk about what goes on at Ponderosa. What really goes on behind the scenes, which you guys don't see. Now, the saying is, what happens in Ponderosa stays in Ponderosa. For me, I was only in Ponderosa uh, one time because the t other two, season 19 and season 20, the game was over. So I couldn't have the experience. And it's interesting what happens in season, in the third time I play. And there's no holding back at this point. So I'm going to go ahead and say my experience in my third time playing. And you hear things. Uh, you don't just hear it. You know it. Just about everybody hooks up at Ponderosa. Uh, in there, unless there's some, you know, old disgusting pervert. Then, But if, they're, if they have any kind of game whatsoever, they're probably going to hook up at Ponderosa. They allow you to have condoms they allow you to drink as much as you want to drink and it's just a free-for-all of funness and if you get voted off early then you stay the entire time like poor Fran you know Francesca she probably was dreading it because she had to stay there for 39 days twice you know, and you do get bored at some point if you don't have somebody to talk to and hang out with. But, um, so my experience is in, in the first Ponderosa season 19, when I got there, it was all fake. All fake. Uh, a couple of people told me hi. That was about it. I went straight to the dinner table. I started eating. They're talking. I can remember it right like it was yesterday. And I'm eating, nobody's really, nobody's looking at me, but I don't care because I'm eating. Uh, and then that was the first time we went off and that was it. I went to bed. No, 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 no. I'm getting the two confused. Let me back up. The first Ponderosa I went to, I'm not going to cut this out. But I did make a mistake. I was thinking the second time, Heroes versus Villains. My first Ponderosa, they sent me straight to a hotel. I never even seen them. When the game was over, I never seen them into the live show. There was I never entered into Ponderosa. Because in their minds, they had to talk to me about playing in Season 20, Heroes versus Villains. And the funny thing is... CBS told them no one from season 19 is going to play in season 20. Let's get that straight. That's just not going to happen. Well, when I played, it changed the whole aspect of the game, basically. So, there was like, okay, we want to separate him from the group. And now we, they literally treated me like I was a king. They separated me from the group. Nobody seen me. It was all wondering where I went, but I went to a private resort by myself and chilled. I went and had dinner with Jeff, uh, tried to have dinner with Jeff. I was so sick that I really couldn't. I, I wanted some Sprite. That's all I could order. He's like, Sprite? Like, man, I'm my stomach, I just cannot. Like, like something's wrong. And come to find out I had E. coli, I was really sick from drinking the, the water that was coming downstream. Uh, if you're gonna drink the water, drink it in the 
the well that they give you. But it was so nice and cold, you know, I just took my chances. So I got sick. My first Ponderosa, didn't see many. Uh, I seen Jeff, they came in there, long story. I'll do a video on that later if you haven't heard it about how they asked me to play season 20, but this is about Ponderosa. Okay, the second time I went to Ponderosa, that's when they, I went in, nobody said anything to me. I went straight to the table, I ate, I was with the crew, I seen them all, uh, and then they tried to, you, if you notice, you don't see videotape of me at Ponderosa. You see tape of everyone else. You see they have a Ponderosa for season 20, Heroes vs. Villains, but you don't see me talk. You see, because they come up to me with the camera and I said, leave. I don't, you know, like I said on one of my last videos, I wear my heart on my shoulders. I don't act like I'm not okay. I think it's better to do that. It's better to show your emotions right there and don't hold them in because eventually if you hold them in then you know maybe bad things could happen you know to your psyche so as soon as they come up to me to try to film me i said no filming don't film me i don't want to talk i said the game is over because they gave me my letters i had letters i had a letter from home or something and and they wanted to give it to me and then I had them and I was reading them. They tried to get me, you know, emotion to film. And I was like, you're not, you're not filming me read these letters. Uh, I don't know how I got the letters. I played three, uh, three times in a year and a half. So everything's a little blurry. I'm trying to recall as I talk. But anyway, I went and I sat at this gazebo by myself. Got me a beer, sat there listening to the waves, watching them crash in. Poverty didn't talk to me. Jerry sure didn't talk to me, none of them. Candace, she came and she asked me if I was okay. Amanda came to me and asked me if I was okay. I was like, you need to talk, you need to... Those two girls were the only two girls that actually I guess they understood. It was just being nice people in general. Everybody else, trash. Treated me like trash. Uh, was it because I treated them like trash in the game of Survivor? The game was over. I felt like the red-headed stepchild, as they say. My grandchild's redhead. I love her with all my heart, so I have a soft spot for redheads, but as they say. And and at the airport, first I, I just couldn't take it no more, two times in a row. And it's not like a regular person playing two times. Let's say Natalie White plays two times in a row. She'd probably die because she's so skinny, but she doesn't think strategically and this is where it gets you. And with me playing two times in a row, thinking strategically like that, I just, it, it's hard. I lose my mind. And I just could not stop thinking of both seasons in a row. So I'm thinking of 19 and 20. What happened? What happened? What happened? Where'd I go wrong? Like putting them all together in my mind. So, uh, but I do want to thank Candace and Amanda for being so kind to me. Uh, they, I, I think that they seen that I was struggling a little bit and nobody else cared, cared about me struggling. Kobe, the hero from Texas. JT, the hero, all those heroes. Rupert, the hero. No one gave a shit about me when they seen I was struggling at this point. Uh, it was like, it ain't a game. I'm going to show him. So, at that Ponderosa, I finally went to the doctor and said, you have to make me stop thinking. I need something. Give me something. And I'm not a drug taker. And I said, I don't care what it is. I, you have to slow down my mind. So they gave me something. Uh, 
to slow down my mind. And it, it slowed me down big time. I was, now I feel like I'm a zombie. So we go to the, I, she, they gave it to me that night, gave me more the next day. And then at the airport, I'm sitting at a table by myself. I know this about Ponderosa, but it's kind of going into it. I'm sitting at a table by myself thinking, hey, what did it, like, why did these people hate me so much? When we did David Letterman by myself. And I think it might because became clear to them that I was beginning, was gonna become one of the greatest and one of the biggest names to ever play that game. And I think that they didn't like that at all. So anyway, they, they did that to me at, uh, you know, at the airport. Uh, and then I didn't know if I won season 19 or not. So this was the first time I could actually contact. I, cont I talked to my wife a little bit within the two weeks, but I can remember telling her on the phone, uh, she's like, Russell, what happened? in season 19 you're all over the place because interesting enough when season 20 ended uh we we left wednesday we were at a or let's say just for sakes of knowing dates i think it was it was tuesday we left to the airport and wednesday survivor was airing for season 19. so everyone there gets to see me really soon the next day we're at the airport flying home so the next day they're gonna watch season 19 and see me and then my wife's like what happened you're all over the place that's all they saying is russell 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 you're the commercial that's who you, that's all they're talking about so i was like uh i think that we won a million dollars that's what i told her i think that we just won a million dollars and possibly could have won just now i didn't i didn't really think that i won heroes or villains but i was so delusional i thought it was might have been a, a slight chance that i could have got a few votes and people actually vote like they supposed to vote but that didn't happen so let's move on that's a lot about season 20 more more than ponderosa stuff but it's interesting stuff uh so so Season 20, two, uh, 21, 22. Then I go to vote it day through the challenge. Now I get to experience the real thing of Ponderosa. And I had a connection with Stephanie and Krista. Same time. <laughs> and it was, uh, I ended up spending all my time at Ponderosa with Krista, Krista Klump. Uh, and then after all that, we spent time together, uh, went places, did things together, became super close until she, of course, I, I told Krista at one point, I said, you know what's going to happen? This, this is what's going to happen. One day, you'll never talk to me again. You'll get married, have kids. You'll never talk to me again. She said that will never happen. It's been probably about seven, eight years. I haven't talked to her. So, but, uh, so that Ponderosa was amazing. because, And then they tried to send me home because it was a new cast with me, walking around with a new cast. They Somebody recognized me and then they got worried we need to send Russell home because I'm sitting at the table with everybody. Uh, people want pictures and they, I, I have to tell them no. Uh, no, I'm not Russell. Like it was weird but so since people sort of recognize me they say we have to send them home so I specifically got on the phone with Jeff and said Jeff I gave my heart and soul to this game because I had a thing for Krista and I was having a, a you know my bachelor my bachelor bachelorette moment with her and me you know having that moment that I wanted to suck up I wanted it to all be part of my experience. I never got to experience Ponderosa. And this is the first time ever I talked about me and Krista ever having a connection. I don't care anymore. 
It's not like she's trying to be my friend or talk to me anymore, so I just don't care. So, uh, after all that happened, it was, you know, the, uh, I t told Jeff, I said, Jeff, uh, you're not sending me home. I said, I gave my heart and soul to this game for season 19 and 20. I gave my all. And now, you want to send me home? You don't want me to experience the full, the fullness of, of, of Survivor? I just get voted off early for the first time and now you want to send me home? I want to stay. I want to see what all this is like. I want to, you know, I want to see what the whole experience is like. And he said, you're right. He can stay. So they let me stay the entire time. That was an amazing time. Those, those memories at Ponderosa with Krista were some of the best memories in my entire life other than me having my children uh, and what I'm doing right now. I think what I'm doing right now with Michael, these memories are going to surpass a lot. Most of my memories that I really like, my, doing things with my children. Went to Miami with my girls. Went to uh, Fort Lauderdale uh, with my girls. Uh, went on cruises. Those are memories that they still talk about today. And Michael's probably not going to be with me next time. I'm going to bring Gracie or one of the girls. They have kids now, so it's harder for them. So I just wanted to talk to you guys. It's already been 17 minutes. Just talk to you guys a little bit about Ponderosa. If you have any questions or want to know more about stuff, I'll let you know. Because I, I have no secrets to hide now. I just let the cat out the bag for the last seven, eight years with, with Krista Klump. So I don't care. It, you know, it's just, it is what it is. And uh, and that's just, it's it was a great moment for me. A great, great memories for me. Uh, so, that's it. That's all I got for you guys. And until next time, always keep up alive. Maybe we can do a vacation together one day. And... Again, I have a surprise. I'm in a totally different location. Nobody knows where I am. Nobody knows what's going on. Somebody knows, but I ain't saying who. See you guys later.